years making us laugh on TV and on the stage, but Harry Hill, we're going to talk about his brand-new theatre show, but also his new talent is, is tearing pictures from downstairs and yeah, what, putting what, up what's portrait... What's going on? Oh, well, uh, uh, he uh, hasn't uh, been lying uh, on there. <laughs> what's he put on you? i tell you what it was. <laughs> I tell you what it was, guys. Was that the you know the production team are very angry and, and it's giving me a bit. <laughs> you know, the production team are very cowed and angry. You know, with this show, and they told me to. Would you mind defacing their their faces? They, it was their idea. With you know, permanent marker. Yeah, they're really unhappy with how the show is going. Uh, listen, it's so good I wasn't to have supposed you with to us. say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny anyway. I mean, they tell it to our faces. Mini they? eggs! <laughs> mini eggs! <laughs> as soon as anyone mentions mini eggs. <laughs> so, Harry, just talk to Tony Blair. Where did the idea come from? Oh, so it's Tony Blair, the rock opera. Yeah. yeah. It's a musical, basically, that's... Um, it's starting at the Leicester Square Theatre on the 15th of April. Let's get the plug out of the way, and it's touring around the country. <laughs> uh, because it's just a, a great story for a musical. You know, it's got a... Uh, you know, it's got a great start. It starts off as a sort of peace-loving hippie. Tony Bruno, you know, who's in a band. Yeah. Originally, yeah. so he plays a bit of electric guitar. He idolised Mick Jagger. Uh, and then he becomes, you know, Britain's most successful Labour Prime Minister. He was the youngest uh, Prime Minister since Lord Liverpool in 1812. So he's kind of uh, carried into number 10 on this kind of wave of goodwill. Everyone's thinking, yeah, it's going to be fantastic. And you've got the, the kind of 90s, you've got the Britpop thing, yeah. you've got the, the millennium, was everyone's... What an interesting man, wasn't he? He was a very Not interesting totally. man, Alison. He yeah. really was. He was. <laughs> it turns out he was quite interesting. And then, of course, everything goes slightly wrong for him. Yeah. And, and, you know, I think it's an interesting question for me, is if you bumped into Tony Blair now in the street, would you ask him for a selfie? Absolutely. Oh, you would? Yes. Yeah, well, it's very interesting, isn't it? <laughs> because, you know, people have different views about him. So, well, what are these views? Because people do have strong feelings. How has the audience received the show? <clears throat> well, what we try to do with it is not be pro or uh, anti broadly. So, when it's not like we're saying, yeah. oh, you know, down with Labour, up with you know, Tories or down with the Tories. You know, we we're, we're kind of just point out the fact that, you know, he won three elections. One of the elections he won was after the... Uh, was after the war in Iraq, mm. so, you know... Although a lot of people marched against the war, he, uh, he was he swept the back to, to power. So it's an interesting... It's, 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 conf it's not straightforward. So, obviously, there's, sort of, there's quite a sort of serious subject matter. It like... is, but we tried to make it as funny as possible. Right. So, how do you, when you, how do you go about starting with that? Did you write... Do you read lots of books about Blair? Because we obviously all live through... I, I try lessons. not to do any research at all. Uh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I did, yeah. I, re I read, you know, we need the chronology. I mean, we mucked about with the chronology a bit. Have you told a few porkies? I think you we said Gordon Brown and him went to university together. Yeah, we've Saturday had to now. play around with the facts just to make it more entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, mainly the facts are there, but they're uh, not in the right order. But when, you, but when you started sort of writing it, did you, there was a moment where you thought, I'm not sure oh, yeah, I can yeah. do this. As yeah. in, I'm not yeah. sure whether... The backdrop is right, or I'm not sure yeah. I've got the narrative right. We had or... to, well, we had to, you know, the tone is so important. We're not out to offend anyone, and yeah. some of it, you know, is controversial. So we had to fiddle around with that. You know, we, we put it up in front of an audience and, and we saw their reaction. And, you know, if sometimes they would just gasp and you think, no, that's wrong. You know, you can send you straight can away. You can change it if as you're walking, to the audience. If you're walking the wrong line. So I think it's, uh, I'm pretty pleased with how it's come out and you know the fact is that the audience we we did it in uh, Finsbury Park in a, uh, a little theatre there in the summer. Is that the Park Theatre? That's a great The thing. Park Theatre. It's a great place for this because actually there was a, a kebab shop opposite Ooh, with a banner saying reinstate Jeremy Corbyn so it's kind of, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of Labour heartland. Yeah. Do you think you might be maybe writing another musical for Boris Johnson or, I don't know, Liz... Oh, everyone says Liz that Truss. to me. Everyone says <laughs> that, that to me. That would be a quick one, wouldn't it? I just it? think it's too, it's too soon, isn't it? Because the, the story hasn't ended yet. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. You know, I mean, give it a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. But I think that the, the, what people like about this Tony Blair show is that there is this nostalgia for the 90s yeah. as well. Time, yeah. So if you think, you know, like I say, Brit Pop and, you know, we've got... Uh, you remember that big party he had at Number 10 where, you know, Liam and Noel went and Cilla Black and all these yeah. kind of uh, big names? Yeah. Uh, so we have, we, we've got a bit of that in it. 
Uh, so, I, I, no, I think Boris is too... I mean, also, it kind of feels beyond... beyond jokes, doesn't it? <laughs> Where'd you go with it, right? Where'd you go with it? Um, do you, um... Do you enjoy it? So when you're doing no, it... No, I do, hate it. Do, <laughs> do, you enjoy, do, you, do you enjoy it? Right? Like, do you prefer writing your own stuff or do you, do you find it a struggle writing a musical? <laughs> Everything I've ever done, I've uh, pretty much been in. You know, yeah. so it's really nice just to do something where, you know, I can be... I'll be in watching the repair shop and thinking, oh, it's starting now. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't yeah. go and see what's happening? You don't you need to well, follow it up? I do, you just I, go and... I, I go along, you know, and make sure they're not making up their own jokes. That's the, that's the main thing, is that, you know, what actors are like. Yeah. Do you, or do you, or when you're writing it, do you always go for the funny? Like, there are periods where... Because you, where, you will always go for the There's funny. There's some There's serious funny moments moment. in this. There has to be. And is that know? the struggle for you? Not, not to go for the funny? I don't, like, the funny. I don't like silence. I don't like, you know, quiet. Oh, I love a bit of, like, awkward audience. silence. Yeah. yeah. But with this, uh, like I say... I mean, at the end, we're sort of saying, do we ever get the leaders we deserve? Is sort of the message from it, yeah. you know? Uh, you know, Tony Blair did a lot of good things and did a, a couple of bad things, and but most leaders have done worse or or, or maybe slightly better, <laughs> depending but, on how you see the world. Yeah, yeah. So is, is it a question? Is he really bad? Is he really bad? That's... Phone in. If you <laughs> Tony Blair, <laughs> dial one. Point. Yes, I think Tony Blair's bad. If you think... <laughs> thirty years in the biz, what's been the best memories for you, Harry? Oh, thirty. Well, I don't know. I mean, I really, I, you put me on the spot there. <laughs> Still doing it, I guess. I, I like to throw it. The curve. fun of it, you know, I just did this big tour, so uh, the fun of that was, in a way, meeting all those people that came along, you know, that have followed me since the early days. Yeah. You know, this, there's a, a guy came up to me at the stage door at, at Brighton. He had a photograph of me with him, and he's 12. This, this <laughs> guy is 12. Last time I, you know, we had a photograph taken, and he's now in his sort of 30s. That's 30, amazing. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't... You know, it's been too much. It's been great. You know, I always feel, because, you know, so I used to be a doctor, I always feel like every day I, I kind of escaped. Yeah. yeah. I escaped that and uh, I ran away to join the circus. And listen, the word about Paul O'Grady who passed. Now, you know, you didn't mm. work the closely together, but you're the, you're the same kind of alumni coming up. And what interesting Well, he was, was his own thing, about. you know... Right, was it... But, and, and then when he rested his own thing, though, he, like, stopped yeah, doing... Yeah, I mean, Lily. Paul O'Grady, he, he created his... Uh, a whole scene, you know. He didn't come up through the, like, the, the comedy clubs that I came up yeah. through. He created a new thing. And he was, uh, you know, he was uh, I, full of admiration for him because he did... He killed off the thing that was so... That was his bread and butter, wasn't it? Lily that, Savage. That Lily Savage thing, you know, that everyone loved. But he, you know, he realised... I don't know what he thought about it. You know, he realised maybe it didn't have the... You know, the long term anyway. legs. And every um, the fact about Paul O'Grady is what people love about him, what I love about him, is not just that he's funny, you love him for being himself. Yeah. Which I think you probably never would have got with, with Lily Savage. You know, this is why everyone is so yeah. kind of shocked and upset about it. Yeah. You know, he was uh, you know, a one off. I mean, there's no other word for it. That's so true. true. Yeah. Right, Tony, the Tony Blair uh, rock opera yes. uh, runs at the Leicester Square Theatre from the 15th of April to the 21st of May. So make sure you catch it. Harry Hill, it's been a pleasure. Thank it's you, lovely Harry. To see you both. And Don't you go anywhere. We are